Today's despicable act of racism and hatred leaves me incredibly saddened and serves as a painful reminder of how much further we have to go as a society and how persistent we must be in the fight against racism. As my mother told me today, they are just trying to scare you. This will not break me. I will not give in, nor will I back down. I will continue to proudly stand for what I believe in. LeBron James standing with him as well, tweeting this. Sickening. Bubba Wallace, my brother, I know you stick. You don't stand alone. I'm right here with you as well as every other athlete. I just want to continue to say how proud I am for you continuing to stand for change here in America and sports. NASCAR, I salute you as well. Joining us now are Marty Smith, who does a phenomenal job covering NASCAR for us here at ESPN. He's been covering the sport for 20 years. Marty, great to have you with us here. What more can you tell us about NASCAR's search for the person or person who left that news? Molly, good morning. The sanctioning body and its executive level have spent this entire morning pouring through what surveillance footage they have in the garage, chatting with members of Bubba Wallace's team, to try to get to the bottom of who this was. Now, just so you know, because of COVID-19, the access to the garage is greatly restricted compared to what it would be without a pandemic. We're working at about one third of the amount of people within the garage area that we would see without a COVID-19 pandemic. And the people that have access to the garage are, for example, team members of the Cup Series teams, officials of the sport, safety personnel, um, firemen, law, uh, um, security, and maybe some cleaning staffs that would be in charge of cleaning up and cleaning out the garage areas. Fans are not allowed. There were some 5,000 fans allowed here yesterday. It's the first time since the COVID-19 pandemic halted the sport that paying fans were welcomed back to the racetrack, but they didn't have access to the garage. So I can't say unequivocally, you can remove them from the equation, but I think you can say 99%, maybe even more than that, that you can remove them from this equation. So that's one of the most troubling parts of this is that the, there is potential that it was someone in the sport. My prayer personally is that it was not a hard card, annual credential carrying member of the sport because that would be all the more disgusting. Uh, this is despicable. Before this is disgusting. Me, this is abhorrent. Marty, thank, this is... Marty, this thank, is I'm sorry. Go ahead, Stephen. I, I said thank you for being on the show. Listen, uh, before I ask my follow-up question, when you say a hard-carrying member, for those out there who don't know much about NASCAR, explain exactly what that means when you say you hope that it's not a hard-carrying a hard carrying member. What do you mean by that? Uh, that's what... Uh, good morning, brother. This is what... That's, that's like NASCAR lingo for an annual credential. That is someone who is credentialed for the entire season by the sanctioning body, by NASCAR. And that would be folks like me, okay. who are members of the media who cover the sport regularly. That would be crew members and crew chiefs and drivers. And that's actually, Stephen, one other, one other great example of how restricted the garage area is. The drivers don't even have access to it. The drivers are walking from their motor homes that they live in, their, mo their homes on wheels, straight to their race cars to drive the cars. They're not going in the garage area. So that gives well, you an idea of how restricted this is. I wanted to follow up with this question. I understand that, you know, from in this, a symbolic gesture, you know, you see something like this left in Bubba Wallace's locker. Obviously, you want to find out who that is and you want to eradicate them from the sport. I get all of that. But I take it as a more palpable threat. They're saying if we get our hands on you, if we catch you, we're going to do something to you. I want to know, do you get the impression that that is how NASCAR is embracing this situation? And what are they doing, if anything at all, to make sure that Bubba Wallace is protected? Because obviously he's a huge target right now. Indeed. And I will tell you uh, quickly, I'll get to your point of, of an immediate threat in just a moment. But this is a, a very interesting thing that I've just learned from industry sources right before we came on. Richard Petty, who drove the iconic 43 car to 200 wins and seven championship, and, and is probably the most iconic face and figure in the history of the sport. He has not been at the racetrack, Stephen, since COVID-19 halted all of sports. 
Mr. Petty is 82 years old, so he stayed at home. Well, he's coming today. He's coming today to stand beside Daryl Wallace in solidarity, and I'm told by those sources that what the King said was this, the most important thing right now for me is hugging my driver. And I don't think he's alone. I have not confirmed what the pre-race ceremonies might look like, but I can tell you this. I have, a, I have a really good idea that we're gonna see a show of solidarity for Bubba Wallace that's going to be moving and really show where this sport is. Now, let me get back to your original question here, all right? NASCAR is not gonna take this crap anymore. And I'll tell you why I feel like this is another landmark moment in this progressive movement. In the past, if this would have happened, I can't sit here and tell you that I know NASCAR even would have announced it. Daryl Wallace, Bubba Wallace never saw the noose. A member of his team saw it. Uh, that member of the team reported that he'd seen it, and then it went to NASCAR. NASCAR's ex senior executive staff had a meeting immediately. They made the decision as a group to put this information out, not sweep it under the rug, not say, hey, we're going to handle this internally. We're going to tell the world this happened, and we're going to get this SOB the hell out of here. And that's what they're doing right now. They're working with the, with the information that they have at their disposal. Talladega has a new garage area, a $50 million renovation. So you would assume there's a lot of cameras in there, man. They're looking at all that now. They're talking to people who might have information, and they're determined to get to the bottom of who or whom this might be and get them out of here.